It's actually a good demonstration of uh, a future capability we hope to have on Starship where we will do point-to-point -point transport on Earth. So uh, essentially travel anywhere in the world in about an hour or so, which is you know, going to be pretty crazy. Imagine going from New York to Sydney in one hour instead of the you know, 20 hours it takes currently. And a reminder, so this camera is, oh, we see the some of the heat rate picking up a little bit. And this camera is embedded right in the end of one of those forward flaps, so you, you see it moving around. That's the flap adjusting to maintain control. Looks like we're getting into our bank maneuver. Now power sliding through the atmosphere. External <laughs> temperatures are coming down. Vehicle is now at maximum dynamic pressure. All right, that was basically our reverse max Q. So most aerodynamic stress that it's going to see during re-entry, we just passed through it. So we're past that, we're past peak heating. Ship still holding together. So we're currently in this bank maneuver. We're gonna see it kind of roll over and do a pretty, pretty significant shift uh, as we get down closer to the subsonic speeds. Yeah, and that bank maneuver that Dan's mentioning is all in part of us to learn about the guidance, navigation, and control for return to launch site missions. So in the near future, we're hoping to return the ship back to the same pad we just took off on 59 minutes ago, and we've got to do some of these pretty dynamic bankings to, to make that trajectory work out. All right, the light show kind of calming down as we're starting to move into the lower parts of the atmosphere. We should hit transonic, so hitting that transition between moving faster than the speed of sound and below the speed of sound in just about three and a half minutes. Our landing burn should happen right around a, an hour and six minutes after launch, so we should be just about six minutes away from that. You can see lots of daylight. We'll... Everybody cross your fingers, see if our range team was able to get out there and provide any surprise views as Starship makes its way down. Oh, it's like they heard me. 